And speaking of matches, and we talked about Roman Reigns uh, a lot. Uh, his match against The Undertaker, we want the big heel turn. Does it happen at that, at that match? Or is it even a heel turn at that point? If, if I was betting, man, absolutely. That, that's where it's going to happen. I think I, that... I mean, we've been saying probably people have been saying this for five for five years now that the Undertaker's going to retire. Undertaker's. I thought after the second Triple H match was he was going to retire. I think this might be the one he'll put over the next guy, regardless of whether he's heel or not. He'll put he'll put him over, and this will this will be it. I I think and it, it's going to and I think it's going to be by when I say false pretenses, it's going to be by a dirty trick. Do you think it's going to be divided by a dirty trick? I mean... Personally, you know, I, I think, you know, because that gives The Undertaker the small window of I got screwed, I can come back and right. take my revenge and ride off into the sunset whenever that would be. So... Right. I... Well, what's the worst... What, what would be, the to me, the worst way that The Undertaker could lose... Is losing clean absolutely but I think for the purpose of yeah. the heel turn sorry mom the nut shot is gonna be the you know something like that it's you know a chair shot whatever it is you know you know it's good that's what it's gonna be does is there a guy that's gonna show up during this match that will be Maybe Roman Reigns' mouthpiece? I don't think so, unless you have something you've heard or you're just speculating. I did but... this pure speculation. That's another good word. Yeah. That's it. He becomes a Paul Heyman guy. Yeah, but would you think he'd, they'd give him... If Brock wins the belt, what we were discussing earlier, if Brock wins the belt and he gets Roman Reigns... Uh, you, know, you know, hey, you know, WrestleMania has been known to for things to happen that, you know, that don't that if you look at it, you know, on the surface, it doesn't make sense. But when you think about it, because Paul Heyman has a history with Roman Reigns' family. OK, I'm thinking he walks in, he takes, uh, you know, he takes uh, Roman Reigns under his wing and then Paul Heyman can say that he's two and zero against the Undertaker. <laughs> ah, okay. Because I'm I'm going through my head here, going, "There's no way." But you say that, and you know Paul Heyman can hold that as a you know that Medal of Honor, that badge of, honor, badge that of I, honor. That I'm my stable is two and zero versus the Undertaker. Oh. He could ride that for the next five years, you know. <laughs> the, 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 so I, you put it that way. I, that's it's it's valid. It's a valid speculation for I'm sure. I'm just saying, you know. So, but yeah, I mean, I guess we're. I guess we want it. Is it that we want Roman Reigns to turn heel so bad? The WWE knows that we want Roman Reigns to make that heel turn so bad that they don't do it. But here's the thing: they he's pretty to me in my eyes. He's turned heel without turning heel. Mm. So really, there's nothing that they really need to do. This is one of those few occasions in in wrestling history where it writes itself. Mm -hmm. Roman Reigns has pretty much written himself, written his storyline himself, just by what just well how they how they how they've been able to book him. Absolutely, I you know. I think that I, I feel like I'm being redundant at this point, but I just feel like they've done, they've backed him into a corner. Yeah, and he's yeah. got to, you know he's got to turn. It's got to, it's gonna happen. It's got to happen. If the WWE is that smug to say because the fans want this to happen, we're not going to, nah, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I mean, maybe that could be typical Vince. That could be typical Vince, but yeah. I, I, it, you, they can't. He's got, he's, it's gotta happen, this, this, this card, it's gotta, it's gotta. But happen. how many, but I, you know, we see it going this way. It, it, everything that 
uh, every, everything that leading up to the, up to this is pointing that way. But how many times have they made like last second or last minute Swerve decisions, City. swerves, yeah. and whatnot? That it's just like, you know, it doesn't happen, and we're like, you know, the more it doesn't happen, the more heel he becomes. Yeah. I mean, because every time he gets announced, every time he comes out on Raw, I'm like, I haven't heard heat like that. Yeah. In since Vicky, since Vicky Guerrero. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, I just sit there. I'm like, oh my god, just uh, you know. Uh. I think it's pol- It's funny you bring that up. It is polar opposite of. I'm not trying to jump around, but polar opposite of what you get from AJ Styles. Right. Because he is trying to never, maybe not turn heel, but the way he attacked Shane two weeks ago, that was pretty rough. That was, they, they were, they, there was some color on that. He was bleeding pretty good. He, you know, they, they were trying, and his promos have been fairly nasty mm-hmm. towards everybody, the, the, even the fans, and the people are cheering for the guy. And it, it's almost like a polar opposite of what's going on with Roman Reigns. Well, you know, if you followed AJ Styles' career, he was a face for a long, long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. TNA. And in TNA and, you know, New Japan and, you know, however you want to put it. Well, maybe not so much New Japan because he was, he's, he was a member of the Bullet Club for a long time there. But I think it is the respect that he has throughout the, the wrestling community yeah. that he can do whatever he wants. It doesn't matter. He, you want him to be heel? Okay, well, he can be a heel. He can do heel-like things, but the fans, aren't, the fans are not dumb. They're not, I mean, they're not going to fall for, oh, he hit this guy over the head with a chair. Yeah. Oh, we are supposed to hate him now. No, it's the, it doesn't really work like that anymore anyway. Yeah. But it's like some guys, and in a way, it's kind of like Kevin Owens, in a way, because Kevin Owens can do whatever he wants. There's still fans that are going to cheer him. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's still fans, there's, and there's always going to be fans that are going to cheer AJ Styles for it, it doesn't matter what he what he does because these guys that work their way up through the independent scene where they wrestled in um, in uh, garages and the tent in these uh, banquet halls high school gyms high school gyms I mean yeah. I, I I've been to some of those events Me and you, both, you yeah. know it's yeah. you know I went to uh, an event um, I think it was B, uh, it was Buffalo Championship Wrestling at the time. Mm-hmm. Went to went to a go kart track. <laughs> okay. Honestly, if they had go karts, <laughs> somebody forgot to tell uh, you know some dude in a go kart to you know to to go park it. He's, yeah, yeah. He's running around in a go kart while a, while a match is going on. I'm like, it was it was the greatest thing ever. I, mean, I think that should be at every live wrestling event. You have go kart tracks. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it was like you know it, it was like maybe. 12 people showed yeah. up, you know, yeah. and, and that's where most of these guys is the start, you know, and that's how, I mean, not that, you know, I'm, I'm not saying I disrespect the, the kids from Tough Enough or anything like that, but, you know, they're being given an opportunity. They're cookie cutter. They're good. <laughs> and sorry. Not, sorry. And, and not chocolate chip either. Yeah. But it's like, but, you know, they have garnered their respect throughout the wrestling community because they know where these guys have come from mm-hmm. you know okay i remember seeing that guy 10 years ago in uh, in the banquet hall at such and such yeah. you know state or whatever like that and now he's made the big time you know i, I mean that is i mean that carries weight yeah in the sure. in in this in that business i mean not maybe not in vince's eyes so much but for the wrestling fans like myself you and and everybody else it carries a lot of weight but you say that but i also think that um they finally had, vince finally had to open his eyes to that yep look at look at his roster and look, i know everybody you're talking about right there is exactly <laughs> it he may be stubborn but he had to open his eyes i don't know if triple h is the one that gave him the push and said hey man this is the landscape of wrestling now this yep. is true to what fans want yeah you know the aj styles kevin owens the you know the shitsuke it, nakamura it, even even cm punk Sorry, but even CM Punk, 
you know, when he was in, in Daniel Bryan, uh, all those guys, the indie guys that came up wrestling in gyms, you know, you see all the, the videos on YouTube, they show them all, you know, you know, but, it, but it's like, you know, they want, I mean, and he has kind of evolved. He has evolved, uh, you know, to letting the AJ Styles of the world, you know, smaller, the smaller type guys, um, you know, flourish. Yeah. And thank God for that, because yeah. it just it, it's just uh, the AJ Styles is probably I don't know. Is he their number one guy? Is he in the ring? Yes. Do they want him to be? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think so either. But he's getting a match with Shane McMahon. At True. WrestleMania. True. Now, <laughs> Shane O'Mac has been known to pull some crazy stuff. Yeah, that, 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 that's a top three. It's never a main event, but it's a top three, usually. Anytime absolutely. Shane McMahon's on the card, it's a top three. Oh, absolutely. You know? I mean, and you're talking about a guy that's jumped off the Jumbotron, jumped off the Hell in the Cell last year. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, there's no cage involved here, but he, I don't know what he's going to jump off of that's going to make people go, whoa. But do we have a uh, not a specification? But do we have a? Is there any stipulation to the match that no holds barred or anything? Do we know yet? Not or? that I've heard, no. but I wouldn't surprise me if it if there was street fight or street something. fight. Yeah. yeah. But um, man, I, and I'll tell you what, man, you, you have to give all respect to Shane uh, to Shane McMahon. Yeah. As a man, now this guy's worth millions, absolute millions. You know, Shane. You know, Vince's son. However, the man puts his body on the line yeah like no i don't want to say like nobody else but it's holy cow <laughs> i wouldn't say he's on the level of mick foley but he's you know he's, I mean? he's, 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 he's up there yeah he definitely for sure you know but uh this sets the stage for i think you're gonna have aj beat shane go over to raw and they're probably they might put the belt on him you know soon enough well, that could segue into what we were talking about, you know, 15 minutes ago, the whole, because it looks to me as if the Triple H, Kevin Owens faction is going to be a Raw-based thing. Yep. And you already have Anderson Gallows on Raw. You bring AJ over. There, there could be a logical step. The next step could be the Bullet Club. You know, it's, it's setting itself up for that. It's setting itself up for and that. And then there could be the push and pull of... Who's who's gonna go for the belt? Is it gonna be Kevin Owens? Is it gonna be some, they get Samoa Joe? Who's gonna you know if AJ were to win the Universal Title, it you know things could shake out that way actually. 